Good morning. 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 Hi everyone. My name's Dale Berry. Welcome to the Berry English Breakfast Show. Uh, I've got it working. Yay! Um, I have to use a different camera today uh, because my camera broke, and so I had to put it in a box and send it to Hong Kong, uh, which is in China. Well, yeah, it's in China um, to be fixed. So I'm using this camera at the moment. I hope you can see me and everything. Hi. Hi, can you see this, can you see this? Anyway, right, so uh, yes, today is Friday, September 7th. It's the end of the week, it's Friday. Last day of the week today. So um, time to get all of our things ready for the weekend. Uh, I hope you have some good plans for the weekend. Uh, we had, yesterday we had a friend come in, Galena. Uh, and Galena, might be uh, coming in to help us out at some point, um, maybe next month or the month after. Um, she's gonna be helping out. But yeah, we also have a new friend coming in on Monday. We have a lady called Lady, and she is coming in on Monday uh, to have a look at our school. She's a student and she's, uh, she wants to be a teacher. So she's gonna come in and see uh, how we teach at Berry English and learn as and so that she can become a good teacher so you guys have to be the best kids the best kids in the world to show her how great kids are but yeah so uh, lady diane her name is and she's coming in on monday and i'm not sure how long she'll be with us but um she's coming in to have a look at how we teach and how you guys learn uh, it should be pretty fun so let's go days of the week you ready Ready, go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday comes again. And rock, paper, scissors, one, two, go. Scissors. So if you've got rock, you beat me. All right, so um, today, let's have a look at the days today. Uh, so if I switch over to here, we will see that today, the 7th of September is Salami Day. Salami. Now, do you know what a salami is? A salami is a kind of sausage and they're usually quite spicy. Sometimes they're not, but usually they're quite spicy. You can get them on pizzas, you can have them in sandwiches, you can just eat them by themselves. Um, I quite like salami, it's quite nice. But if you eat too much of it, it gives you heartburn. I get like, it's like, ugh, it feels horrible in your chest. But um, yeah, today's salami day. So if you get an opportunity, you can try some salami. Um, it's like a spicy sausage. Basically. But yeah, so today is salami day. And then another one, this one's good for all the mummies. It's lazy mum's day. So today's a day for your mummy to be lazy. So if your mummy wants to sleep a little bit more, you should let her sleep. If she wants to, uh, uh, not do the cleaning today, or not go to work today, or not do whatever your mummy does. Uh, today, the 7th of September, is Lazy Mum's Day, so she can be lazy. So any of those jobs that she has to do, uh, today she can go, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, so today's Lazy Mum's Day, so congratulations, mummies. I wonder if there's a Lazy Dad's Day. I want a Lazy Dad's Day. I don't know when that is. Anyway, so today is Salami Day, Lazy Mum's Day, Superhuman Day, so Superhuman Day. So uh, Superhuman Day is about people with disabilities. You can see that there's a picture in the background here of people in wheelchairs. Now some people, um, they're not as lucky as you and me. They, they can't use maybe their arms or their legs or something like that. And so what they do is they go around in wheelchairs or they use special things to do all the things that you and I can do. And it's everything's harder for them. So it's amazing when they can do things. Like, you know that pe there is wheelchair basketball, wheelchair soccer, wheelchair uh, rugby. There's all kinds of sports that people do. Um, when they don't have a body that works the same way as you and I's, you and I, our, you and my body do, does. <laughs> English is hard. Uh, so, yeah, so it's amazing. So if you look uh, at things like the Special Olympics or, um, well, there are all kinds of things where people with disabilities, they don't just sit there and feel sad and go, why don't my legs work? What they do 
is they go out and they try something and they can get really good at it. If you ever watch wheelchair basketball or wheelchair, um, wheelchair basketball, wheelchair soccer or rugby or things like that, um, it's amazing, they're really good. And they, they just practice super hard and they get really good at it. So um, I wonder if um, we can see something today about um, the different things that dis people with disabilities do. But yeah, so it's Superhuman Day. So well done to all those superhumans uh, that still do everything that we do even though they have disabilities. Anyway, right, the last day of the day is, the last day of the year is buy a book day. <gasps> You're gonna have to use some money. So maybe ask your mummy or daddy or uncle or grandpa or aunt or grandma for some money and buy a book. So, hmm, I wonder if I can go out and buy a book today. But yeah, so it's buy a book day. So it can be any book. We all know we love books here at Very English. I love books. Um, and books, because books can tell you stories, they can teach you things, they can do all kinds of things. I love books. And so buying a book um, will just mean that you have one more book in your house that you can use and read and find out new things and have a cool story. Yeah, so it's buy a book day today. So go back to me. Hello, 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 hi, I'm back. So yeah, so um, yeah, today's buy a book day, salami day, lazy mums day, and superhuman day. But um, as the pool, is almost clean it's just a bit it's gone a bit milky so i'm trying what i'm doing is i'm trying all different things looking researching on the internet to try and fix our pool but um our pool should be okay for if the weather gets warmer so i'm hoping the weather's going to be warmer like next week or um soon so we'll be able to have a few more days in the pool uh before it gets too cold um so yeah i'm going to be looking at that today and I wonder if there is any other news. Everybody's doing a fantastic job practicing for Sports Day. I was having a look yesterday and the day before, and I saw Caterpillar's Caterpillar class. They're doing a great like a ribbon dance, and it's really cute. Then uh, uh, we've got Caterpillar class, then Dolphin class at the top, the top class. They're doing uh, something which is kind of secret. I haven't seen it because they're practicing outside, but I'm sure it's going to be very good. Um, and then what a butterfly class in the middle. They're doing a, a dance with some gymnastics in it and they're, they're getting so good at, um, at uh, getting it right. And I'm really excited to see how the, the sports day goes. But yeah, so um, I think that's it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at our word of the week. And also I have some reading for us to do. So let's have a look at the word of the week. Uh, where's it gone? Oh, there it is. So the word of the week, everyone tell me what's, what's the word of the week this week? It is awesome, yes. So I haven't really heard many people say it. I know uh, advanced class, I heard you guys say it, but I haven't heard anyone else really say it. Hmm. Awesome. If something is really good, you can say it's awesome. Awesome means it's great. Did you enjoy that book? Yes, it's awesome. There you go. So the word of the week is awesome. And I tell you what, your, your guys, your sports day performances, they look awesome at the moment. I uh, love it. And uh, there's one more thing on this. This website, by the way, this is called Learn English Kids. And there are lots of games and things to read on it. It's actually a really good place to, to find things to do. But one of the things I found was this. It was a bit of reading practice. So see if you can read with me. So this is called Musical Bumps. Now Musical Bumps is a game. And it says, this is a fun game to play at a party. So number one, the children dance to music. Okay, so first of all, the children dance to music. Okay, we can do that, right? Then number two, the music stops. 
Okay, so everyone's dancing, then the music stops. Then what do we do? Number three, the children sit down quickly. Okay, so everybody's dancing, then the music stops, and everyone sits down quickly. Okay, then number four, the last child to sit down is out. Okay, which means they stop playing. Okay. So everyone's dancing to music, then the music stops, everyone sits down, and then the last child to sit down is out, okay? So they stop playing and they watch. Then number five, the children stand up and dance again. Okay, so then it starts again. So the music starts and everyone starts dancing again. And number six, they play until there is only one child dancing. He or she is Ugh. the winner. Okay, so I think I understand this game. So it's a game called Musical Bumps, and the children dance, then the music stops and everyone sits down, and the last child to sit down, so the slowest child is out, and then everybody stands up and dance again until there's the only one person left who dances and they're the champion. I see. Well, that sounds like a fun game, doesn't it? So maybe, uh, maybe you should ask your teacher today, can we play Musical Bumps? So remember, what's the name of this game? Musical Bumps. Yeah, musical Bumps. Okay, so let's have a look. There's a quiz here. So let's see if you guys can answer these questions. So are these sentences true? So true means yes, or false means not right. No, that's not right. Okay, so number one, Musical Bumps is a game. Is Musical Bumps a game true or false? I think it's true. Okay. You play Musical Bumps at a cinema? So you play musical bumps at a cinema? Do you play musical bumps at a cinema? Do you play musical bumps at a cinema? Yes or no? I, I don't think so. I think it's false. Okay, then. Next question. The children. So the children sing to music. The children sing to music. Do they sing to music? Or do they dance to music? No, I don't think they sing to music, so false, false. Okay, then, when the music stops, the children sit down. So in the game, did it say that the, the children sit down? I think so, it did, didn't it? So I think that's true. And then, two more questions. The last child to sit down starts playing I don't think it said that, did it? So the last child to sit down is out, right? So I think that's false, that's, that's false. And then the last question, when there is only one child dancing, so when there's only one child dancing, he or she is the winner. Is that true or false? Yeah, I think that was how you win the game, isn't it? The winner is the one who's last, so true. Okay, and then I click down here, finish. 100%! Yay! You got all the questions right. So the score is 6 out of 6. Yay. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's see how much time do we have left here. Oh, it's almost time to go. So very quickly, I'd like to do a quick map crunch. Should we do a quick map crunch? Why am I not speaking properly today? I don't know what's going on. Should we do a quick map crunch? Yes. Okay, right. So... Okay, right. Uh, sorry, I just got a message from Angelina. She's gonna be late today. Uh, where am I, where am I, where am I? Screen, hey, there you are. So, you ready? Three, two, one, map crunch. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, I know what this is. Does anybody know what this is? I know what this is because my dad used to play this. I had 10 points for anyone who knows what sport you play inside this room. This is called a squash court. So you play squash. Yeah? 
So uh, squash is a game where you have a racket, like a tennis racket or a badminton racket, and you hit a ball and it bounces off this wall and then comes back. So one person stands in this square, another person stands in this square, and then this person hits the ball, it bounces, comes down here, and this person hits the ball back, it bounces and comes back. And if you miss the ball, then you lose a point. So yeah, so this is a squash court. Okay, so it, there are chairs out here, maybe for people watching squash. So where are we? Oh, and then there's some kind of, oh look, these are squash rackets. So you see down here, these are what you use for squash racket, for playing squash. See, they look kind of like tennis rackets, but they're a bit longer, a little bit more like a different shape. And then there are some trophies up here. So people have won squash. Ah, and it says, look, squash. Here, yeah, it says inside this square, squash. And then some trophies up the top. And then, ugh, people's feet. Ah! Why are there three legs up here? One, two, three. Why are there legs on the on the cabinet? That's weird. What? What? Why are there legs there? Is there anyone to ask? Excuse me. Why do you have legs on 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 your cabinet? Hmm. Okay. So let's see if there's anything else here. So maybe we can go outside. Oh, we have to discover what country this is. So is there any writing? So there's names of the different rackets. We saw the word squash. Ah, what's this? Oliver Je Squash. Squash Je Oliver. I think that sounds French. That sounds French to me. There's another squash called. So oh no, that's one. And then there's two. Let's see if we can go outside or something. No, we can't go outside. Oh, but I think we can go inside the squash court though. Oh, let's play squash. Boom, ba -choo. boom, -ch. boom, -ch. boom. -ch. So this is inside a squash court. Oh. And there's a place for people to watch up there. So you can watch from here, or you can watch from upstairs. Oh, I see. Anywhere else to investigate? Squash Liptov. Mm, let's go this way, see if we can go in here. Oh, maybe we can go outside these doors. Oh, we're outside now, yay. Right, okay. What country does this look like? It looks nice and sunny. It looks a bit cold, I don't know why. <laughs> There's that word again, squash. Mm, any clues? I don't see any clues. The only thing I saw was that one word that was French. There's our squash court. Oh, we can go all the way down here, look. We can go down the street. Ooh, let's go down the street a little bit. See what we can find. Maybe we can find a shop. Is that a shop in front of us? Maybe, maybe it has a clue. Oh, oh, auto service, new service. Okay. Okay. Show me something that tells me where we are. I want to know where we are. Oh. Oh, there's some signs. Okay, there's that auto service place. Can we see these signs? Okay, let's see. Optica Milena. Garbarski. Hmm. Ah, okay. Now this kind of looks, this looks to me like a uh, Romanian or something. It looks a little bit like maybe, do you know what? I think this might be um, somewhere near Romania. Okay, that's not right. Okay, I, I'm decided, I think it's gonna be somewhere like Romania, but I don't think it is Romania. Oh, there's a hint here because the website, it says .sk. What country would SK be? Sk, 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 SK. Czech, it could, no, Czech. Romania would be like RM or something, wouldn't it? No, I don't know, I'm gonna guess Romania. Uh, anyone else have any guesses? Let's have a look. And we are in Slovakia, of course. SK, Slovakia. Okay, so we're in Slovakia today. So Slovakia is here in Europe, and you can see Germany is this side. 
Romania's down here, so it's next to Romania, so I wasn't too far away. Romania's there, that's where I thought we were. And then there's Hungary, Austria, Croatia, Prague, Poland, um, is, and then Slovakia, right here, this is where we are. And if you want to see where Japan is, Japan's uh, all the way over here, so it's pretty far away. Yeah, so we're in Slovakia today. Alright, so back to me. It's time to say goodbye. So everyone have a wonderful day. Berry English Kids, I'll see you at 9 o'clock. Everybody else, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 7. So everyone have a wonderful day. Bye! Don't forget to use the word of the week. Awesome. We're going to have a new word of the week next week. So see you guys. Bye! <laughs>